This is Charles Oxpops, and I'm Tucker Drew. Today, I'll be asking students outside the RADCAM about Trinity Term and all it has to offer. So guys, like Trinity Term, what's it all about? About having a good time, enjoying the sun. Seshing. <laughs> Drinking, except it's acceptable because it's Britain in the summer, and if you put fruit in it, then it's a social activity. It's all about exams, but once you have them, it's about partying, so that's great, I love it. And do you have exams this term? Sadly, yes. Uh, yes. Yes, I do. I do. I'm a first year medic and they are in ninth week and I've never been dreading anything more. How are you feeling about those? Um, well, uh... Yeah, I've done eight and I've got one left. Um, yes, but I'm trying not to acknowledge their existence. I have an exam tomorrow. I should really be in that <laughs> library right now. <laughs> Lol! I'm glad that you love Oxpop so much that you came out to be interviewed. This is my true passion. <laughs> Screw psychology. What are your exam coping mechanisms? I'm not in circles and scream. Works great for me. Uh, denial. I pray a lot because that's important um, for me and like my faith and stuff. Planning revision but with friends, so like making an effort to like go to the library together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how do you cope with exam stress? <laughs> Dude, I'm a first year. <laughs> I don't have a strategy. <laughs> do you think punting through the pain is an option? Uh, yes. Yeah, I think so. Punting is one of the most stressful things I've ever done. Because it's like fun, it gets you out of college, out of the library, it's yeah. into the sun, vitamin D. Because you're in quite a good position of power over your friends. In the, If you're pushing the boat and they're in it, you can capsize it and you're controlling where it goes. If what you want to do is you know, re-empower yourself and take back some of that power that exams have taken from you, then punting is you know the best way to go. Are you going to any balls this term? Uh, yeah. Brazenose ball. Uh, Brazenose ball! get hyped to St. Hugh's Balls next yeah. week. What are you looking forward to at the Balls? Um, I think the lineup at the LMH Ball looks amazing. I haven't been to one before, so I'm kind of just expecting it to be worth 110 quid. Yeah, wasn't it Exeter yesterday and there was like people in ball gowns walking around yeah. and I want oh, that yeah. power. <laughs> I want to walk around Oxford in a floor-length ball gown and no one cares. A real, a real ball gown yeah. here on Oxpops today. Renting them on Oxford ball gown swap and shop. So are there any events that you're looking forward to in Trinity that you're planning on going to? Champagne and socialism, obviously. I'm gonna go to Oxford Pride. Ooh. I think that's gonna be good. It's gonna be big. I am going to photosynthesize. Do you photosynthesize? Absolutely. We're all plants inside. I am a plant. Because humans photosynthesize. Yes. So are you planning to photosynthesize this term? <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad. Oh yeah. That's, I mean, my favorite thing about being outside. Absolutely, you know, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. The, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheaper just sitting here and being an autotroph than it is buying my own food. So in terms of being able to afford balls, photosynthesis is actually a good way of getting there. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything else you want to say to the camera? I'm incredibly hungover. My voice doesn't usually sound like this and I generally look more put together. This is an official disclaimer, thank you. Children watch this. I have been reliably informed. A family that watches Ox Pops together stays together. Right.